Welcome to Dargaville. I'm on my second stop. I'm going to um, go into the museum now, just learn a little bit more. I just had my wander around the Dargaville Museum. Uh, it was it was interesting. It's um, you know, it's, I've, I'm always amazed by museums, and it was it was just like a normal, you know, small town museum that does all the bits and pieces that it needs to do. Well, the most impressive thing in there was the fact that it has this ancient canoe, a pre-European canoe, uh, a Maori war party lost in 1809. Then uh, someone found it in 1900. Uh, and then they put it aside and then it got buried by sand and then it wasn't found until a hundred years later again. Dargaville's history mainly is based around the Kaldi tree again, flax planting. Joseph Dargaville was the namer of the town. He actually purchased a, um, a shop here. He started the town with a shop for the gum diggers in 1870. A lot of the region was also uh, settled by, I think they're called Dalmatians, which was the whole Hungarian-Austrian area of Yugoslavia. They came over and they did uh, the gum digging. One of the features that they have here is this is the Rainbow Warrior mast. From this vantage point, uh, looking down at Dargaville again in the Wairoa River, we have uh, a par site. It's right beside the museum. It's not much to see now, but you've got mounds over here and uh, some, a flat mound over that side. On the opposite side of Dargaville, looking out through the uh, Wairua River, which uh, continues on until the Kaipara Peninsula, you can see the Tokotoku uh, mound ridge hill thing that I climbed. This is the main street of Dargaville. Um, you just call it a, a rural centre, uh, supporting this whole area on the west side of Northland. Over there, they have the Dargaville Dalmatian Society, which is kind of cool because you know, in places like where I'm from, Southland, they have um, the Caledonian Society. So it's just a different location. Uh, right on the river edge, and as you can see it's a pretty decent sized river, um, it's tidal as well, uh, they've got these old colonial houses. And I wonder if they'll put this guy on grander designs, look at this, it's a boat, and he's built the house inside the boat itself, that's brilliant. Check out these boats that are stranded. Only um, they can only go out when the tide is high. So yeah, it's Dargaville for you. It's the second on my list of uh, as I go around the north, um, around Northland, working my way up the the west coast and um, yeah, on the way up. Yeah, Dargaville, the Kumara capital of New Zealand. This uh, area has, I think it's, I think I read it was two thirds. Um, the Kumaras come f from New Zealand come from here. It's, it's a town of rural significance in this area. You know, it was a pioneering town back in the day, but all of them were, of course. I've spent the whole day here, and it's 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 cosy. That's one of the coolest playgrounds I've ever seen. 